uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to actually run a simulation so once you got your JSIM make sure it's this .exe that's an exe file just copy that go to uh, your hard drive windows and go down to system uh, 32 and you just paste it in here well I've done that already so I'll just copy and paste from you so you just need to do the same uh, so it will be there then uh, make just have a look here I change it to .cir that's the extension and uh, I go to the command line and I type cmd for the command line and come up and then uh, you have to change directory you have to actually you don't that's why you put it there but where your file is your file is located at uh, on desktop so cd for change direct di um, directory and then type desktop and you should be there sweet uh, once you do that you type j same and then uh, your circuit jpl.cir if you forget the dot cir you will be in trouble as always and then you hit the enter and you should see something like that running on your screen um, pretty much your code and everything has gone pretty good so once you've done that uh, you should file this file here out.dat so if you open that with uh, a txt file or something like that oops uh, just uh, yeah if you open it txt you'll see arrays of numbers which is your results and in the next tutorial uh, I am going to um, use um, MATLAB, I guess, to um, yeah, code this for you. Um, you could with MATLAB you can automate the process if you want, but for simple circuit that's that it's really necessary. All right, thanks a lot for that. See you in the next tutorial.